Let's get that bit up ready. Okay, get comfortable. And today we're going to do some breath work and into a place of stillness. So just take a moment to orientate yourself to wherever you are, whether you're sitting or lying, taking the sounds around you. And whilst this next breathing exercise can be done uh, lying down, it is actually better if you're a little bit more propped up or seated. So, yeah, I'm just giving you some time to get arranged for that. And we're going to block off the right nostril, just close it off with a finger, and you're just going to breathe in and out through the left nostril. So you continue doing that and I'll explain a bit more about why you're doing it. So when you breathe out of the left nostril and in again, this is the is said to be the, the more yin receptive channel of the body, the more lunar one, if you like, the one that um, calms and soothes you. So it's a really nice one to use when it's particularly sunny or when life is a bit frantic. And since we're all still such in a um, sort of um, transitional spaces we navigate all these times and this breath this yin left nostril breath calms the nervous system soothes things down cools you down um, cools the brain's activity down um, and it's really gentle and it can be practiced for a few minutes at a time well longer of course but a few minutes is enough to rebalance things so I'm just going to be quiet while you just breathe in and out through the left nostril um, if you find it's blocked, obviously you can get a tissue, um, see if that helps um, and just enjoy the practice. Falling into a pace that's slow, easy breathing, slow on the inhale, slow on the exhale. If you want, you can count the inhale. So inhaling one, two, three, four, and exhale the same amount of time. Okay, and then releasing the hand down, eyes can stay closed if they already were, or if you have them open, that's fine too. Just relaxing yourself, settling into the body. And if you're seated, you can come to lie down if you wish. And so as you arrive into this um, space of relaxation, space of mindfulness, just take a, take a journey around the body and notice the temperature. Maybe the fingers are cold. Maybe the legs feel warm. And just take a journey around, traveling around the body, noticing what's going on so that you arrive into the space of here and now, withdrawing all your attention from the outside world. Of course, we'll have sounds around us. That's just how it is but allowing them to be in the space, but bringing your attention back to your body by taking in the temperature of the body in starting from the toes, going up the legs or from the head down. You choose, doesn't matter. You're not gonna get this right or wrong. 
we just follow that um, journey of awareness around the body and its temperature. And then check in, how comfortable are you? If you're sitting, is your back supported by the chair? Are your feet flat on the floor? Is your spine feeling like there's length and space? Does it feel supported by the chair behind you? And if you're lying down, can you get 10% more comfortable? Maybe with a cushion under the knees? Maybe a scarf or a sock or something over the eyes. Maybe a blanket for warmth. These little details do make all the difference because our mind is very quick to um, jump, on dis dis jump onto distraction. And so if we can get really comfortable, then we can settle into the body more effectively and efficiently and into the stillness that's there. I want you to imagine now that there is this um, coffee plunger at the top of your head and you're pushing all the energy down from the head, down through the heart, down, out through the bottom of the feet, down, 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 just letting go of extra activity that's there. You can do this a few times, just plunging yourself clearer, removing any excess energy that you don't need. You can just visualize yourself getting lighter, clearer. And if the mind is making up stories, let it run about its business, but come back to sensation. Use your um, breath as a guide. You can just follow the in and the out breath. I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out. And that gives your mind a point of focus. And as you're there right now if you feel to you can place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly or both hands on the belly and this helps bring the attention back to the body so what we're doing is anchoring you into the body allowing the mind to take a rest and of course sometimes it takes practice so Again, no right or wrong, but we're setting you up for success in terms of coming into the body to relaxation, to deep presence and stillness. I'm breathing in, I am breathing out. Just mentally repeating that to yourself as you breathe. Invite yourself to relax 10% more. See if you can relax the shoulders a bit more. Relax the face. The toes, the feet. See if any deep sighs come, if you can relax the belly, the chest. And then from your feet, imagine a wave, this wave of relaxation, just 
entering from the feet all the way up the body as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, it breathes all the way out. This wave rolls back to the feet and out again. So you can imagine it like a, an actual wave breathing in. The wave, the water, the motion comes up. And as you breathe out, this wave carries away anything you don't need out through the feet. Breathing in and breathing out. As the wave of relaxation comes in, it's breathing and bringing in all the nutrients, oxygen, vitality into the body, every single cell. And as you breathe out, there's a deeper relaxation that happens as a letting go occurs, letting go of anything you don't need. This exchange of air, this exchange of Receiving and giving that happens with the breath. Breathing in, a wave of relaxation, and breathing out, a letting go. With each out breath, see if you can let go another 10% so that you're drifting into this liminal space. See if you can relax into the back of the body. Knowing that as you drop into this deep state of relaxation, any contraction that's occurring in the body starts to unwind, unravel. And the more that we can unwind and unravel and let go of these contractions, the easier we can breathe, the easier the body functions, the easier the brain functions. And the beauty of this is To get the benefits is to completely let go and relax and just retrain the body in that, the body mind. Okay, letting go of any vis visualization you may still be holding on to, letting it go. Letting go of any attention you're paying to the breath and allow yourself just to relax deeper and deeper. Breath will take over. I relax my feet. My feet are relaxed. Just mentally repeating these words. I relax my legs. My legs are relaxed.
Relax my hips, my pelvis. My hips and pelvis are relaxed. I relax my back, lower, middle and upper back. I relax it all. I relax my belly, ribs and chest. Belly, ribs and chest, relax. I relax my neck and shoulders. My neck and shoulders are relaxed. I relax my arms, my hands. My arms and hands are relaxed. I relax my head and my face. My head and face are relaxed. I drop deeper into relaxation as my mind and body completely relax for the next few moments. Knowing that I can let go of everything this precious time and receive the benefits of deep relaxation. As you continue to relax, just taking in the sounds.
deepening your breath now. Feeling where you're sitting or lying. Bring in the sounds around you. Notice the temperature of the air on your skin. When you feel ready, start to move the body, fingers, toes, you can take a stretch, stretching the body out. Take the arms wide. Stretch the legs out, point the toes, flex them back towards the head. You can move your head from side to side or roll your neck. And then if you've been lying down and want to come back to sitting, you can roll over to one side and push yourself up to slowly come back. Or you may choose to stay lying. Either way, enjoy. And you can, if you want to, rub your hands together and cup them over your eyes. Place the hands around the face and head with a little bit of pressure. This can be nice just to bring you back into the body. If you've got to get up and do something now, just make sure the feet are nice and flat on the ground. Really get yourself back into the body and um, enjoy the rest of your evenings. I'll see you next week.